Hi guys, I hope you're all well. This is actually going to be a very late post indeed for us. Um, it's our Easter decorations. And I know it's super, super late, but I did have Easter off on holiday from work. But I was really sick. Um, and I decorated, but I just felt too ill to do the post. So, and I was really busy when I went back to work after my holiday. So, just off today, and I've got a spare few minutes and they turned out really nice I think this year and I really wanted to share them all with you because I'll be taking them down at the weekend so uh, let's get started um, in my hall I always have my hall table as you guys know that regularly view my videos I always have like a little display on my hall table I've got this lovely large tall um, bunny greeter guy and a little uh, dungaree set. I picked him up last year in the sale. And I think he's real, real cute. I've got some uh, pretty lights all around the table there. I couldn't find no like Easter egg shaped ones or anything. So these are old Christmas lights. Uh, glassed um, baubles. Which I think are really, really pretty etched glass. And that's on a real nice doily with a nice appliqued uh, daffodil there. So that's real pretty. And then I've got some lovely uh, spring flowers, some uh, forsythia. And they have lasted really well. Um, I actually cut those fresh um, and put those in a vase. And they've lasted really, really well. So that looks real pretty. So I'll just back up a little bit more. There we go. I think it's pretty tall, it's probably about two, three foot. And these actually are on extendable legs as well. You can lower him or extend him up, but I've got him fully extended. There he is, just waving, greeting everyone as they come in. So I take you through, guys. And here we are in my lounge. I'll just give you a quick pan round and then I'll take you through some uh, little bits in a little bit more detail. And there's Rhea and Bessie looking super cute. And there's Bessie. And there's lovely Miss Rhea looking super cute. All sleepy on her, on her little blanket. Hi guys, I have these set of three bunnies on my windowsill uh, and I've had these for quite a while. I think they all come from uh, TK Maxx and there's a little family of three there, a single one there. I've done that really pretty, lovely bead decorations on her. A pretty uh, hat with a lovely green ribbon, I think she's super cute. and a. Uh, a little quartet there. So I kept the same pink tree that I had out for Valentine's Day because I thought it would be a really nice colour scheme to add all the pastels and lovely yellows for spring and I think it's turned out really well. Um, if you think it's turned out well guys leave me a response um, at the end of the video and tell me what you think. So I've got tons on here. I made a lovely little yellow topper with um, yellow and white gingham uh, wide ribbon. So I made that as a tree topper. And I've got some spring flowers. I think they're like gyp fake gypsophilia. I've got some in white. Uh, a pale lilac. And a pink. I love the pink. It gets a little bit lost in the tree. But I wanted three different tones. And I couldn't get... Uh, a darker purple one, so I got those. So I'll just take you through and tell you a little bit about uh, a few of the decorations that are on the tree. Uh, starting with this one, um, Simon brought me that one year. Uh, we went to Germany one year and we brought that back around about Easter. A lot of these are vintage decorations that I've picked up over the years, some are like charity shop. Finds. I think that one was a charity shop fine for 20p. So I just put some uh, clear fish and wire 
through him and just hung him on the tree. He's got a little bell attached to him. Uh, this chick here and this white little fluffy hen there was from Liberties in London. Uh, we went one Easter to London and I picked those up at Liberties. So that's some quite posh decorations, I suppose, for the tree. Uh, this articulated bunny here with movable arms and legs is really pretty. She's a Gisella Graham. And as you know, guys, I do love Gisella Graham. And a lot of decorations on here are uh, Gisella Graham. Uh, this bunny here with the blue tutu on has another Gisella Graham piece. That's from TK Maxx. Um, I think that's Gisella Graham as well. These cute flock chicks. I've got two of these on the tree. That one there. And, oh, where are we? Him here. Uh, my mum brought me those from Marks and Spencer's a few years ago. So I really like those. I think they're real pretty. I love these egg-shaped uh, bunnies as well. I've got three of those on the tree. Uh, my friend actually sent me those from America, so I love those. That's a vintage piece there. That was a charity shop find, that little chick there. 10p, I think. So, it really pays you to keep your eyes out when you're out and about, guys, because you can mix and match expensive, uh, high-end decorations with a real low end decorations that I think really get a good overall look. I mean if you've got money to spend all well and good but if you haven't and you're on a budget you can mix the two and I think the effects is, is really equally as good. I've got these two large bunnies here. I've had him a fair few years now. I really like him. Uh, this bunny was a new um, one this year. Simon brought me this one for Easter. I love that one, I think it's real cute. So over on my cabinet I've just got the garland of uh, plastic eggs in the spring colours. That little um, to the bunny trail sign there. Oh guys, and also on my tree I've got these uh, bunny lights and Simon brought me those last year after Easter in the sale. So I've got a string of those already on this pre-lit tree. And also, this plastic egg garland I made from the eggs that you get from the 99p store or the pound shop. And I just strung it on fishing line and made a lovely garland. So I think that turned out really well. Obviously, it being Easter, you had to have a crucifix. Um, if you're not really religious. I'm not really religious, but I think it's always nice to have... Uh, a cross, because if you are religious, that's what it's all about, really, Easter. A lovely little handmade bunny there. I've got a craft show. My cute tree skirt that I showed you last year in my post in a lot more detail. I've got that on this tree this year, and that's made it look really well. So I'll just back up. So that looks really nice. And then over here on my sofa, I always have an array of uh, little soft decorations and seasonal teddies on there. I've got a lovely crocheted throw in all the pastel spring colours that my mum made me. She always makes me one for like every season and sort of the colourways that go with each season. Got a lovely vintage um, sheer sucker tablecloth on my a uh, little round table there. Picked that up at charity shop. That's all green, yellow and pink pastel stripes. Uh, that little vintage tin there my mum got me a few years ago. It always has eggs in it but obviously it's really late now and as you can see all the eggs are gone. So that's the first part of the tour guys. Um, I'm almost running out of time so I shall be back to you in two secs. Thanks for staying with us guys. See you in a bit.